partial victory for Common Sense. I'm Brian Lilly with Rebel.media. Last week, I told you about the mind-blowingly stupid decision by the RCMP and the Canadian Firearms Centre, which they run, about banning a rifle for sale in Canada, even though it's pretty much exactly the same as one that they allow. Uh, we've got not a full walk back, but a reconsideration. I'll get to the details in a moment. I'm talking though about the Blaze 47 rifle from Mossberg. This is just a variation of the Blaze rifle. Now the Blaze rifle is a, a 22 caliber long rifle uh, am ammunition firearm that is for sale in Canada. It's non-restricted. You got a firearms license? You can own and buy this. No problem at all. But the Blaze 47 was deemed prohibited even though they have all the same working parts and the only difference between the two rifles is the outside wrapper, how they look. That is it. The Blaze 47 looks like the AK-47 and that is why the RCMP banned it. Now, they won't tell me that. I called Murray Smith, the chief lab technician, last week. I left a message for him, didn't hear back. Eventually, the RCMP communications office got in touch with me. I spoke to them. I asked them detailed questions on the phone, sent them more detailed questions by email. I didn't hear back from them. When I followed up, they said, this has been taken up by the public safety minister's office. You've got to deal with them. Jean-Christophe Delarue, the uh, director of communications for Minister Blaney, tells me that the minister's office has asked the RCMP to review the prohibited classification of the Mossberg Blaze 4722 LR rifle to determine whether it was made in error. That's a polite way of telling the Mounties to get their heads out of the sand. There's no reason that one rifle should be non-restricted and the other prohibited. This would not, I don't believe anyway, fall under Bill C-42, which although it's been passed, hasn't, been, hasn't come into effect yet. But this was an original classification. This was a determination on whether this gun was legal in Canada on its first instance. And do you know how the Mounties did it? They didn't take it into a lab. They didn't fire both rifles and say, oh, look, one's vastly different than the other. No, they looked at them at the trade show in Las Vegas known as SHOT Show. That's it. They looked at them in a trade show convention center setting. You can't really determine the workings of a rifle based on that. And that is how we're supposed to make these determinations, not based on how something looks and whether it's scary, whether it will frighten ignorant people. It's supposed to be on technical aspects, the mechanics of a firearm. So the RCMP are rightly being told to mind their P's and Q's and do their job properly rather than pushing through their own agenda. I want to thank you for your part in spreading the story that we did last week and stories by others as well. That will help keep up the pressure and it helps someone like Minister Blaney, who's a bit of a common sense guy on firearms, to know that he has support. I'm going to ask for your help again in sharing this video so people know the update. And I want to ask you to also sign our petition, handsoffourguns.ca. This is the petition to try and make sure that police forces know they're being watched. We can't be sure that we'll never stop a, another high river gun grab again. But if the police officers think twice about violating civil liberties, maybe we will be saved another mass violation, the way that the residents of High River experienced two years ago. That's handsoffourguns.ca. Help us help you and the gun community.